The most insane lies on paternity court. What kind of craziness is this? Right? So basically, you're admitting that you just lying. How did you see her messages? You looked through her phone. I went through her phone. And you could see it all there. I can't trust her. No one's yelling at you and screaming and you no good and I don't want nothing to do with you anymore. You got a beautiful little girl that just ran into your arms. Mm. Accept that and roll with that. Living a lie, quenching for peace, the man had enough of his spouse's cheating. He arrived in the court with evidence of unmasking his slattern wife. So now he wanted DNA to end this paternity drama once and for all. Let's hear how he has been holding up. So you can prove you are not the father of four-month-old baby Charles. You say your one-year marriage to the defendant is on the verge of collapse because of paternity doubt, and you need this test to save your family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. As you can see, Mommy's infidelity had brought them on the verge of falling apart. He claimed that his concrete evidence made him doubt the paternity, yet he signed the birth certificate. But once it is proven he was not the father, then it would be over for good. You're on the birth certificate. Yes, I am. You are this child's legal father. Yes, yes, I am. But you need this test so desperately because if you are not the biological father of this child, you want to have your name removed from this birth certificate. Correct. Okay, you heard the defendant. Their relationship went to the wishy-washy road real quick when their neighbors blurted out that Mr. Broussard was not the father of the baby. She claimed that her spouse was obsessed with her ex and was just making things up. He is so obsessed with my ex that he feels that I'm cheating on him every time I do something. How long has it been this way? Since the end of last year. There has been rumors going around in the neighborhood that we grew up that he is not the father of our child. However, the man believed the rumors because they all came up with some evidence. So to support his claims, he brought an exhibit. But the bummer was with every assertion baby mama was getting trapped in her lies like this. They want to have a family, a baby together. They about to push you out the picture. What? Yeah, it blew my mind. So. Well, see, that's the thing about kids, though. They don't tell it, honey. And so you heard that she was still talking to the ex and they was gonna push you out the picture. And have a family. And hand have a family. Oh, no. It was just compulsive lying. Now she could not even blame the daddy for his doubts. But this was not over yet. The further unmasking the lies game got stronger as baby daddy revealed the mommy's lies like this. Miss Broussard, did your ex send you a naked photo? Yes, he did. And you don't tell him, don't do that? I do, but he's gonna do it anyways because he, like I said... And you don't block his off. number? <laughs> no. Even though her cheating was not hidden anymore yet, she continued sleeping around with her ex as the defendant saw handprints of another man all over her body and she admitted that it was revenge sex. Oh, my! So you admitted to your husband that you had slept with your ex in your house? Yeah. And you don't have no shame in it, huh? But I slept with him after his ex called me telling me that they were having an affair, too. Oh, so the revenge sex. Yes. Uff, F. This woman got some nerve. Instead of being ashamed of her wrongdoings and lies, she was defending herself. Anyways, Judge Lake heard enough of their testimony, so she determined that DNA was vehement in this paternity conflict. So let's get those results and see if they ended up on good terms or not. In the case of Broussard versus Broussard, when it comes to four-month-old Charles Broussard, it has been determined by this court Mr. Broussard, you are the father. This case was outright palooza, as Mr. Hammond claimed that his debauched spouse had imperiled their marriage with compulsive lies. He claimed that baby mama was busy with another when she conceived the baby. Mrs. Hammond, you claim that after 10 years of marriage and repeated attempts to get pregnant, a month ago, you finally gave birth to your miracle baby, Isaac. You need today's result to prove to the defendant, your husband, that this is his baby. Is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. Initially, the defendant shed light on the habitual lying part. He claimed that his spouse had numerous guys in her life. She had a habit of manipulating people. Even she had made him a fool in their whole marriage of 11 years. But now it's time to show that's enough. She's had multiple partners and um, she, she lies to my face constantly. So you say she lies to you all, all the time? All the time, all the time. So the marriage has come to this? I can only be the fool. 
It turned out that Mrs. Hammond's promiscuity was at the peak that even her lovers gave the red flag to the defendant and dropped him a video of them banging his wife, but Mommy tried to wipe it like this. What did they tell you? What happened? I've, I've seen a video of my wife giving oral <gasps> to, to another man. That is such a lie. There is no video, Your Honor. There is no video. But was there a man and was there oral sex? In, in all honesty, um, there has been cheating on both sides. My husband cheated on me first. I took it the wrong way. About a year after that happened, I did end up, I, I've cheated on him. So to prove his claims, the potential daddy brought evidence, which alleged that Mr. Hammond caught his wife texting another, which raged him, and he ended up posting something on Facebook. Ooh, that should not be posted on social media. It's what exactly? It's um conversations with my wife and another man that, that, that should not be spoken. And um, Oh, oh. She's in the same place as th this man is, you know what I mean? And, um. And you posted these to your social media? Correct. However, the plaintiff was consistently lying. She contended that there was nothing true in those text messages because it was one of her friends. But this time, Jude Lake jumped, cut her chase off, and did not let her nincompoop her like this. You saw this man? Um, yes, I did. I met him at our local county park, um, said hello to him. It was a friend that we had both worked with. It ain't that many kissy faces in the world uh. that you got to type after you meet a co-worker at the park. Mm -hmm. This is more than that. Now, whether you slept with this person, I don't know. Moreover, it was slipped that the woman had numerous other people in this paternity run, as she had been moving around with a single status that even claiming to be married shocked Mr. Hammond. You believe that this person could be Isaac's biological Correct. father? Yes, ma'am, and uh, numerous others. I mean, there's she's moved so single, I, I don't understand how she claims to be a married woman. One after another, Mommy's lies were being caught, so Judge Lauren jumped into the birthday party. It was disclosed that the man did not help her even when she was about to give birth. He abandoned her and went to the casino with another woman. He, um, I said, okay, are you gonna bring me to the hospital? He said, no, drive yourself. He left me at my house. He left and went to the casino with another woman. He didn't show back up to the hospital until 20 minutes before I gave birth. Um, stayed for about maybe 45 minutes and he left again. I didn't see him until the next day. But the husband denied the claims and stated there were no other women with him because he went to gamble only. Ugh! This weird part triggered Judge Lake, so she reacted like this. I was at the casino gambling. I wasn't with another woman. But why were you at the casino gambling if your wife's giving birth That's a good to question. the baby you right. prayed for? Right. I, I, can't, I can't have an answer for that one because I don't know. What kind of craziness is this? Right? Apparently, Mommy was trollop and her unfaithfulness had made things go south. Still, the potential dad claimed that his spouse cheated on him with multiple men, even if it could be 13, 16 or more, because Mama lied and swindled a lot. Mrs. Hammond, how many times have you cheated? I've been with three other people. I, I know at least six that, that, that she's been with. Oh. He, he believes that's so many I believe people. you've been with more than six. I believe you've been with 13. But then again, he... 16. Even though Miss Hammond's cheating had left her marriage at a vulnerable point, the only way to determine the truth about the baby was to uncover the secret DNA envelope was holding. So let's get those results. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Hammond, you are the father. <laughs> What would you do if you see a girl wearing tight pants? Would you slide into her bed by selling dreams of wedding bells as the man did in this case? Mr. Wiggins rolled up in the court seeking Judge Lake's help to get back his family. Let's hear what brought him into this mess. Mr. Wiggins, you are here in court to prove that you are not the father of Miss Davis's child, Aubrey Wiggins, and say today's result will change your life. Being alleged the father of Aubrey, I lost my wife and I want to regain my family. You lost your family? You were married at the time? Explain. Yes, Your Honor, I was married. Me and my wife went through a separation due to a rough patch. Wow, a brief separation gave him the pass of sleeping with another woman. It turned out that in no time, he was up to jiggery pokery with Miss Davis. Yet he wanted to free himself from accusations of being a father to a baby girl because his family was at stake. Almost two and a half years? Yes, sir. Yes, I was married, Your Honor. I mean... Yeah, married, we, but... It just, you know, it kind of went longer than it should have. But your hope is that if you can prove that Aubrey is not your biological child, that you can convince your ex-wife, which is 
you know, the woman, I guess she left because of this situation. Yes, ma'am. Further, the defendant claimed that they were in a committed relationship for two years, and the man admitted to manipulating and lying to this young lady for his gain. Yet blaming her was the reason he lost track of his family. Oh my, what type of man is he? I knew I was in a relationship. You did? Two and a half we years were not, we was together. No. And you might have gotten more than you bargained right. for, right? He did, he did, a child. And so why did you think you were in a relationship, Ms. Davis? He stated that multiple did you, times. Was he telling you there was gonna be a future? Yes. Oh. He wanted to marry me. He wanted to get a divorce from his wife. No, he wanted you're to be with me. No, you're on. Next, Judge Lake hopped into the pregnancy. It slipped out that Mr. Wiggins' mistress wanted his wife out of his life because she expected to have her whole life with him. So put on his deception hat and duped baby mama like this. Right. I wanted more because you, that's what you presented. And I was good to her. I mean, because ultimately I was trying to get something out of her. Two and a half years, how we're not together. Things happen or said in the bedroom that may not always be seen. Uh, so basically you're admitting that you just lying. However, he asserted that Miss Davis approached his wife on Facebook and disrupted his married life. Oh man, are you out of your mind? I mean, he has no control over his desires and yet inoculated the defendant for the havoc? That just makes no sense. Miss Davis told her that she was pregnant and that she wasn't going anywhere. Did it cause the havoc or did you cause the he havoc? He did, because... Right. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. Right, because you, know, you lay down with this me. Position, you was, this position, this that, position, that, that's your, that's I, your I've father, got you now. So you know I've it. got you now. And that's the demeanor I felt she had. Okay, so the next chronicles of Wiggins started. He claimed that the mommy had been busy with another man at the time she conceived the baby because he sent some text messages on her phone. So that's why he was denying paternity. We got into a bit of an altercation. I don't remember the exact details. And my family member seen her be picked up by another guy. That was my cousin. That I she wasn't claims crazy. to be her cousin. And this guy inboxes about meeting her again, and she's telling him, oh, I need some more I never loving. never with him. So to me... To prove his sham show right, the alleged father brought an exhibit to the court. He alleged that Miss Davis had fabricated his name on the birth certificate, but how she forged his name was quite interesting. Duh. But the baby's mom wiped off all his lies like this. This is the birth, the birth date that's listed on Aubrey's birth certificate. My birthday is November the 9th, 1990. The one this you wrote. This says 11, 11, 1990. I didn't wrote. write anything. No, when I when, when I seen it, when we got the birth certificate, I let him know that he, whatever he signed, he signed it wrong. Till now, it was apparent Mr. Wiggin was a compulsive liar who was putting on sham allegations about baby mama, and he was clowning just to defend himself. Further, it came out that they were still sleeping together, and it ticked Judge Lake, so she articulated the reality like this. Still involved no yes. we're not your honor when was the last time you two were intimate it's been a while last night no you did not use protection the no. last time we had in the course we did not use protection have you learned anything i have not to be with someone like that no you're still with them I, what? and you just might give it to her right I won't. with your lying self yeah, Judge Lake was right. He was playing on both sides of the fence, yet contended that he wanted to get back his family. However, their back and forth did not help and made things more complicated, so the last hope to get closure was to reveal the DNA results. Mr. Wiggins, you are the father. <laughs> Miss Davis, what are you feeling? I've been going through this for a long time, like between him and his wife, like. It's his child. Right. You are the father. Never let anyone take your absence for granted, or it may trap you in the paternity muddle. Mr. Talon addressed Miss Jackson in front of Judge Lauren to settle down the heated mess. He claimed that the defendant had made him a buffoon as she was pregnant with someone else's baby, and he was unaware till nine months. You say your fiance, Miss Jackson, dropped a bombshell on you when she was nine months pregnant and told you that you may not be her child's father. Yes, y'all. She later changed her mind and said, you are Raymond's father. Yes, Your Honor. The trial began with the deceiving saga. It turned out that the plaintiff turned on ghost mode, abandoned his family, and went to another city to pursue his career. Mommy claimed that she buzzed him on the phone, but he turned his back on her. Do then why play the victim card? I met Mr. Green in a shelter, and we, we ended up becoming intimate, but Mr. Taylor left me and my children I'm stranded in Florida. It was my girlfriend and our kids in a shelter. 
I couldn't do nothing there because it was no job opportunities in Orlando. He didn't try to get in contact with at, me. At the youth I shelter. I tried to get in contact with him. I didn't even know that he was in Atlanta for two days. It turned out that when Mr. came back in the picture, the woman was already having hanky-panky with another man. But Mama shed light on the truth. She said that Daddy never looked back to his family. So to find comfort, she brought another man in the picture. I had no one to turn to but Mr. Green. Mr. Green was the person that was what there Mr. for me. Green did for he, you. Mr. I've been Taylor here didn't send kids. me any money. Let me hear you one at a time because I want to understand this. This supposed job opportunity that he had, during this job opportunity, he never sent me or the kids any money. There was no one for me to turn to but Mr. Green. He was the person there for me, giving me emotional support. Further, Mr. Taylor alleged that the defendant got intimate with the other man right after he left. That precipitated the bickering in the court because no one was ready to drop their allegation. But the defendant buckled up and advocated that they would have been in paternity court if the man had used his mind. How long after Mr. Taylor left for Atlanta did you turn to Mr. Green. A few weeks. Three days later, she was pregnant by October 12th. I left September 14th. If he would have never left us there in the first place, this whole situation could have been avoided. If he would have just left been a man about the situation. The next plaintiff stated the facts that intervened in his doubts about the baby boy. It slipped out that he was unaware that his girlfriend had conceived another man's child until an anonymous person hit him up and dropped the bomb of, you are not the father. Well, a guy that was on Facebook, he inboxed me, basically telling me, that LaJoy was pregnant by Mr. Green. Now, have you talked to her? You've been talking yes. to her on the phone? Yes. And she's never mentioned I'm pregnant? No. The only reason that I did that, Your Honor, is because I was I felt as if I was holding on to the last strand of our relationship. However, Mr. Taylor disclosed that he has caught baby mama texting the other man. He told that she tried to settle with Mr. Green, but he denied the baby. So the mommy decided to make him adult and pin her child on him like this. Who is she texting? Mr. Green, can I name the baby after you to stand the third? Mr. Green said, no. When I come around, okay, since he don't want to be there after she pursued to try to get him in the picture, he didn't want to. How did you see her messages? You looked through her phone. I went through her phone. And you could see it all there. I can't trust her. For better understanding and to create some sense, Judge Lake summoned Mr. Green to the podium and asked about the particular situation. He said that things were not in good circumstances when he started messing with Miss Jackson, so he asked her to move in with him. She told me that he had left her for a rap career in Atlanta, just left and didn't want, want nothing to do with her, had nothing to do with her, didn't want to take care of the kids. So I told her that, that she that, that she can come stay with me because I don't I don't want her on the streets, you know. The whole time she know be she be, you know, laying in bed with me. I look over, she messaging him stuff. It sounds like you saw this as a potential relationship. It was a it was a partnership. Shack but up. from cheating to being caught red-handed, it revealed that the defendant changed her mind when she was kicked out of Mr. Green's house and got back with Mr. Taylor. But Mama denied the saga and shouted to her core to prove her point like this. You move in with I Mr. Know. Green. Yes, Your Honor. At what point do you go back to Mr. Taylor? When he dropped her. No, he didn't drop me. I left. I left. When he dropped her. No, I left. You did ask her to leave the house. We got an argument, everything went down, downhill from there. After that, shit, go. Like, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, took stuff, put it outside. As you know, one lie has the power to tarnish a thousand truths. As it happened in this case, Miss Jackson first asserted that her fiance was the father, but later it turned out that she didn't even know who was the biological father of her baby, cause she swindled around both men at the time she conceived. You believe Mr. Taylor was the father? Your Honor, I, I don't know which one is the father because okay. I had sex with both That's of them. That, that is. Bottom line is, is you really don't know. You yes, told him he was the father. You messaging him as well. Telling him he the father. Because you don't know. Yes. Okay. It was evident that both parties were at daggers drawn and no one was ready to drop their allegations. One after another, secrets were being revealed in the court, but nothing was helping them to get the closure they needed. So Judge Lake pulled the strings and decided to announce the results. When it comes to three-year-old Raymond Taylor, as to whether his biological father is Mr. Taylor or Mr. Green. It has been determined by this court. His biological father is Mr. Green. I figured. If that's mine, that's good. And I respect you for being there. I was about to say, you got a good child though. Mr. Williams' life had been stuck in paying and dodging child support. And by now, he had enough of this lifestyle, so he wanted to end this once and for all. He claimed that he was not the biological father of 22 years old girl Clarissa, yet Miss Smith contracted him into this paternity run. Mr. Williams, you have brought Ms. Annette Smith to court today, claiming she scammed you into paying child support on her 22 year old daughter, Clarissa. You say you use condoms at all times, so you cannot be Clarissa's father. Yes, Your Honor. 
It was obvious that no one could be scammed into this kind of huge mess without being related. Yet Mr. William tried to prove that he was an innocent man who has done nothing wrong which led him into this dispute, and Miss Smith was the villain of his story. But the defendant closed his lie box and spilled the truth like this. A lot of outstanding money. When I met Eli, he never had a job. That's what I paid thinks. for everything. That's what, no, that's not true. Eli had money when he got into a oh, car accident. Oh my goodness, that's not true. We had a relationship. That's not true. We did not have a relationship. Yes, woman. we did. Up next, the woman explained the relationship saga. It slipped that the alleged dad was the only possibility of being the father as mommy did not have any other guy. So when she told him about her being pregnant, he embraced her but later turned his back on her. You say this was a real relationship. Yes, ma'am. At the point that you realized you were pregnant, before that, were you sleeping with anybody else besides Mr. Williams? No. When you found out you were pregnant, did you tell him? Yes, ma'am, I did. What day? What was his the reaction? The same night. What day? What was his oh, reaction? Goodness. I, I forgot know, the I name that he wanted me to name, but he wanted me to have a boy. What? He And he seemed happy about it. Yes, ma'am, he did. But during the doctor's visits and the birth, Mr. Williams was not there? No. However, he was acting like a compulsive liar, but it looked like his words were not even helping him anymore. It turned out that he had an opportunity to get a DNA test, but instead of clearing this mishmash, he went ghosted. You when I was on Plumbing Assistant, Where they asked from? Eli to come to, down here for the blood test. Eli declined. Did you yes, have an opportunity is. to take a DNA no, test, sir, not. and you didn't? No, I didn't. And I got his address because when what? I went to California to you. see him. See, and that's she moving too far ahead for us, up because when she went to California... Because I'm telling the truth. She went to California to scope out my situation. The defendant claimed that Ms. Smith forged his name on the birth certificate by sending legal documents to the wrong address for financial benefits. But the woman gave him a sassy reality check like this. You're saying she purposely sent the... Yes. Gave the wrong address. Yes. So that you would then miss the court date. Yes and be named the father yes. by default. Yes. And then once you were named the father by default, you were put on child support. What not I could do? As it was apparent that the plaintiff's testimony was quite shady as he was putting on the defensive show with his false fibs. Even though no one was buying his baffled story, he continued stooping low with his nasty saga like this. So Mr. Williams, you say you always used condoms. As far as I know, always use condoms. What, I'm gonna take care of? I'm gonna put it on you too? No, you gonna put it in a, whatever you do, how Who you does do that? With, you did! So wait a minute, what you're saying is you feel like there was foul play involved. <laughs> yes. Where she was trying to trap you. Obviously. I guess Mr. William should act mindful instead of swinging around back and forth. As up next, the defendant brought some pictures to support her claims. But the man asserted that he backed off because there was another man involved. This is you and the baby. Right. Man. This is a picture of you both yep. and Clarissa in California. Yeah. You look happy. You look like I mean, a you couple. Gotta stand I'm one of them people that I won't take care of my responsibility if I think I'm responsible for it. But when I find out that mm. I'm not responsible and it's definitely somebody else involved. Apparently, both parties were at odds and were making things more difficult in this mess. So Judge Lake summoned Clarissa. She testified that Mr. William had never bothered her and was the true definition of deadbeat daddy like this. Do you remember him being in your life when you were growing up? When I was five, he called me. That's all I remember. But since then, you don't remember anything? No. You have not seen him? No. No birthdays? No. She would get packages every holiday, every Christmas, every birthday she would get them. Do you remember receiving gifts from your father? Never. Nevertheless, the young girl told the court that his alleged dad had missed out on so many things and she wanted to have a father figure and fatherly bond in her life, but he had never thought of being there for her in her 22 years of life. You missed out on my entire life. I wanted to have a father to brag things about in my academic life. I wanted to explore if to, just to have fun with a dad right beside me all the time. Someone to support me. You were never there. Hmm. This silver woman had missed the foremost part of her life due to Mr. Williams' doubt and negligence of knowing the truth. As their back and forth squabble was not helping, and the plaintiff's crazy acting was sparking more turmoil in this conflict, the only way to know about the truth was to reveal whatever DNA envelope was hiding. Mr. Williams, you are her father. I'm sorry. Thank you.